Playing dumb after premeditated policies of injecting massive currency creation into the global economy does not make amends for the billions of people currently suffering under high price inflationary outcomes. I, I think we are not paying sufficient attention to the law of unintended consequences. We take decisions with an objective in mind and rarely think through what may happen that is not our objective. Uh, and then uh, we wrestle uh, with, the, with the impact of it. Um, take uh, any, any, any decision that is a massive decision, like uh, the decision that we need to spend to support the economy. And at that time, we did recognize that may lead to too much money in circulation, too few goods, but didn't really quite think through the consequence in a way that mm. upfront would have informed better uh, what, what we do. And I subscribe entirely what, to what uh, we act sometimes like eight years old playing soccer. Here is the ball, we are all at the ball and we don't cover the rest of the field. We are now suffering inflation rates likely in the mid-teens in real terms in the United States. Levels of price escalation not seen since the last time free market gold forces pushed official U.S. gold bullion reserve values higher than the then fiat monetary base outstanding in early 1980. This week, Germany reported a producer price increase spike that on a price chart looks like something their Weimar forefathers constantly warned against reliving through. German price inflation is now almost admitted at levels not seen since 1980. The true price inflation there is also likely in double digits year on year now. The fiat euro continues to lose value versus other major fiat currencies and of course versus gold. Threatening to again reach parity with the fiat Federal Reserve, this has not happened in nearly two decades for the European Union's currency. The fiat euro recent weakness is obvious on a gold price chart, as it threatens to make a break for 2,000 euro per ounce price levels, likely not long from now. Weakness in the fiat Japanese yen made devaluation headlines all this week. Here you can see how badly the yen has been performing relative to the fiat Russian ruble of late. And not merely since the Russian-Ukraine invasion rebound for the ruble, but also after the Central Bank of Japan took part in the September 2019 Going Direct policy, which aimed at massive currency creation to force a secular inflationary regime to take hold globally. The gold price in fiat Japanese yen terms continues to break record price high levels seemingly week after week now, and as the foregone years of the yen carry trade come undone to further devaluations ahead, silver bulls should press pause on this over 50 year price chart knowing that silver bullion in fiat Japanese yen terms still has to nearly fourfold just to reach its old 1980 price high level. It's hard to find any price chart in the world that illustrates just how cheap silver bullion remains on a historic basis than this one right here. Hello there, on behalf of SDBullion.com, this is James Anderson with a quick SD Bullion market update. Before we go further, please smash the like button so other sound money stackers can also see this content. And be sure to subscribe to our SD Bullion channel so you can get our latest market coverages and also a chance at winning incredible bullion giveaways like this one. When you love silver as much as me, it's really easy to get carried away. Sometimes I just can't keep my hand off of a good deal. So when SD Bullion told me that they wanted to give away some silver for free, I was happy to lend my hands, I mean voice, for the cause. Now how much silver are they giving away, you ask? Boom! Yes! 500 brand new Silver Eagles will be going to one of you, and all you have to do is click the link down below and enter for your chance to win, and you could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. Hi Paul, this is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SB Bullion. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. Well, thank you so much. This really made my day. So click the link below and enter because the next big winner of 500 Silver Eagles could be you. Yep, okay, got it. 
Click the link below to enter our new 500 ounce American Silver Eagle coin type 2 giveaway contest. And good luck to all of you who take part. Silver and gold sold off and remained under pressure in the week's trading in fiat US dollar terms. The silver spot price looks to be closing just under 23 an ounce for the week, while the gold spot price will likely finish priced under 1900 an ounce. Gold silver ratio has broken out to the upside, closing the week at 83. Next level of resistance is around 85 parts silver to gold. Much of the latest weakness in terms of the fiat US dollar denominated gold and silver spot prices has been scapegoated on recent fiat Fed note strength to the upside. The US dollar has enjoyed its best month of gains versus other also devaluing fiat currency competitors like the aforementioned fiat euro and fiat Japanese yen, for instance. Physical gold demand in the first quarter of 2022 surged and was mostly driven by a combination of European war worries and escalating price inflation globally. The most important data point this week for myself in gold was the massive amount of newly refined gold bullion bars which surged into the United States in the month of March 2022, last month. Over 80 metric tons of gold bullion were imported to the USA, fresh from Switzerland, home of 65 to 70 percent of the world's gold bar refining output. So that is the largest amount of gold bullion imported into USA since the pandemic-driven gold bullion bar shortage arbitrage peaks during the spring of 2020. If you recall, that gold bar shortage situation forced the COMEX to invent a new 400-ounce 4GC gold futures contract. Dubious because I believe they did so so they could count on paper, begin double counting, commingled 400-ounce gold bars, which are mostly situated in London thus giving off the impression that the gold bullion that fractionally underlies the COMEX gold futures market is larger than it really is. Since its invention and as it stands today, no one is trading the COMEX 400 ounce 4GC contract invented in the spring of March 2020. Its creation was likely instead done to dupe market onlookers and buy time, as with a quick glance, one might think all is well in the physical gold bar supply and price discovery markets. It's not. The fact that we had to import 80 fresh tons of gold bullion bars last month into the USA is just recent anecdotal evidence backing my long-running assertion here about the 4GC contract. Even billionaire investors on Twitter are now remarking how silly the daily spot price situation has become in the gold market, especially during opening hours of the Comex Gold Futures market trading. This chart shows how gold has traded in COMEX gold futures since its beginning in 1975 with the blue line. Starting at a price of 184 an ounce in 1975, COMEX gold futures have traded to a paltry 259 an ounce in over 46 years of time, while the global gold spot price has gone up tenfold over the same more than four and a half decades. Eastern countries like China and Russia are fully aware about Western gold price suppression schemes and have used them against us thus far in this 21st century. While the Russian Federation makes economic giants like Germany bend to its will in helping to support the fiat rubles relative purchasing power by demanding payment for gas in rubles, there continue to be rumors that Russia is planning a more formal long-term tie of the ruble to gold and other commodity values. The Secretary of the Security Council of Russia made news this week stating that Russian experts are working on a project to create a two-loop monetary and financial system in the country. Secretary of the Security Council Nikolav Patrushev said on Tuesday in an interview with Rusuyakaya Gazeta, he explained that the project involves the provision of the Russian currency with both gold and a range of goods representing a currency value. As a result, the ruble exchange rate would correspond to its real purchasing power parity. To ensure the sovereignty of any national financial system, it's necessary that its means of payment have intrinsic value and price stability and is not tied to the dollar. Patrutrev also said the head of the Russian Central Bank denied this is in the works this week, but denying any massive plan like that is to be expected. After all, central bankers are paid to lie and play dumb about their premeditated plans. Russia is no different in that regard. That's all for this week's update. We hope you take advantage of spot price weakness by adding to your prudent bullion position soon. As always to you out there, take great care of yourselves and those you love.
If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. To keep getting bullion related news and industry insights, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And finally, hit that alert button so you know when we publish fresh content. Thank you.